Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to Daily Homes Browsers, and we are browsing historic homes today. Yes, it is Sunday, and that's what we do on Sunday. So if you're joining me for your first time, welcome. It's good to have you. And to all my supporters, hey, y'all backing me up strong, and I appreciate it. So we are going to 3000 Forest Drive, Columbia, South Carolina, 29204. The seller is asking for $849,900. Wow. But you know what? I actually seen this house in person. It is a genuine piece of property. I do know it's a nice area, so let's move on and see the pictures pictures 53 pictures to view and let's see can we because i really want to get the pictures going up here all right here we go guys this is a front view of this magnificent property and they call this a 1939 modernistic and wow it's a beauty. Not a big yard, but you know, it's what they have. It's it's beautiful. Shining and it is shining bright. It's shining bright like a diamond. And this is your covered porch. Magnificent view. Your front yard. It's a two-level home. Half moon driveway. Curved driveway, if you want to say. And look at the inside of this home, guys. It is beautiful. Look at that stair rail. Look at the staircase. It's shining bright like a diamond. Look at this window here. You know this house has cathedral ceilings. It's going by this size window. Another view of the staircase. Okay, showing you the lower level of the staircase. All right, look at this. It's your study area. Wow, this is a true gem. View of the top tier, the chandelier, very modern. Like a little sitting area, bunch of pictures on the wall, nice furniture, by the way. Huge fireplace, two windows in the back. Two French doors there leading out to the dining area. In the room shining bright, I like the light fixture. Wow, look at this kitchen. Here's your black and white kitchen, guys. Um, find too many uh upper level cabinets, but you do have the lower level cabinets. Um, has some big windows here. You have the double sink, fridge here. It's like the uh your table here. It's like the uh island like a table but it's actually it's beautiful different and i don't want to miss anything you have the back staircase too so you have two entrances to go upstairs giving you another view from the kitchen this kitchen is magnificent talking about luxury luxury it is all right here's the bedroom this is like a little closet from the bedroom. Office area. Okay, we are at the back of the screen porch and the size is humongous. To the bedroom. Other bedroom. There's four bedrooms. This is the bathroom. Another bedroom. This be the fourth bedroom. Bathroom is narrow, but it's cute. It's your tub area. This is your hallway. Okay, another area to sit outside. It is covered. Covered porch, a patio. Nice. Okay, you have your laundry room here, nice. You got a lot of cabinets. And you have a long countertop there, actually on both sides. 
Okay, this is another area of the home. Use it for like a gym area, exercise area. Okay, this must be the basement. And the basement is finished. All right, that can be the man cave with the basement, guys. All right, here's your courtyard. Nice size courtyard. All brick. Nice palm trees. This is a beauty. One of South Carolina finest. Your picture of the yard as well. Nice. It's your gate, it is gated. It's your driveway. Three car garage. And I'm sitting on top of the screen porch. All right, this house is a true, genuine diamond. I like it. Let's get to the detail. It is a single family residence built in 1939. It's sitting on almost an acre. It's coming in at 0.80 and no HOA fees. It's a great community. You have your covered porches, electric and artistic details, screen porch, various living spaces, high ceilings, gorgeous and established landscape. The Hewis, I believe I'm saying that word right, style home. It's different, it's stunning. It is a nice home. It's been on Zillow for 60 days with 2,300 views and 77 saves. All right, we are moving straight to the next one. And for our next browse of the day, we are going to 415 Main Street, Barnwell, South Carolina, 29. 812 and the seller is asking for 359,000. It is a five bedroom, three and a half bath. The square footage is 5,002. So this is a big house and it is sitting on about an acre and a half. It's coming in short at 0.45 of being a full acre and a half. All right, we are going to get straight to the picture. And I will bring myself back on this one. All right, we are getting the front view of this awesome historic property. It is a two-story home, wraparound porch. It is saying something. You got your patio porch upstairs and downstairs. All right, this is a street view from the street, of course. And you have the brick wall surrounding your property here. Hey, we have sidewalks in this community. Go for a nice walk, a nice stroll around the community. Beautiful. All right, you have your white staircase going up, steps going up. The huge porch, country porch, very country. Hey, there's your swinging bench. You have some patio furniture there. Nice. Nice. You can have your family reunion here. We have room for all your relatives. All right, let's get on the inside of the home. And where we are at, we are at the foyer entrance of this spectacular home. This is my favorite section of all of historic homes, the foyer. Here we go, wood floors. Big, huge mirror, nice antique chandelier there. Nice door, windows surrounding top and the sides. This foyer is saying something. I like the mold trim, the borders, the color. Get a view of your staircase in the back there. The room area, I like the color. Floors, nice chandelier. You have your fireplace there. You have some shelves. Put your decor. Here's your large dining room. It's an eight seater, but I'm quite sure you can fit a 12 seater in this diner. Chandelier. Is there a door there? Might be leading to the back. And you have your window there. 
like an opening there, or it might be like it's the opening to the kitchen. Fireplace in your dining room. All right, it's the kitchen. A little bit small. It's kind of tiny, but it's cute. You have your stove, microwave, cabinets, top and bottom, window above the sink, dishwasher, pantry, little floors in the kitchen. So your little sitting area. Eat in kitchen. Next two windows. This is another uh parlor room. They call it the parlor. It's nice. I'm gonna pick up the speed. We're about halfway looking through these pictures. That's the master bedroom. There is five bedrooms in this spectacular home. It's about a fireplace in all of the rooms just about. Here's a um, view of one of the bathrooms. Three and a half bathrooms. Okay, another view of the bedroom. This is like it's um they was working on it, but then they stopped. But the floors are decent. They're like they just need to paint the ceiling to make it match the rest of the home. Is your half bathroom nice? Uh nice view of the foyer and the staircase. I like this home. Three fifty nine. You cannot beat the price on this spectacular historic home. In Barnwell, South Carolina. All right, South Carolina, y'all saying something today on this historic Sunday. Memorial weekend, Memorial Day weekend. All right, they like they had some, uh, they was using that as a game room. See a hockey table. Couple of game tables there. It's a nice, it's a pool table. Yep, they have a game room, fireplace there. You can have a game room in this house, guys. The bar, couple of uh, table and stools there. Nice home. All the rooms are huge. One of their three and a half bathrooms full. I feel like they was using this one as an office. A bedroom. Another bathroom. Four bathrooms. That one looks like it needs to be updated. But overall, this house speaks to me. What is it saying? It's saying, buy me, buy me, buy me. And if it's saying to me, saying that to me, I'm quite sure it's saying that to some of you. Maybe not all, but some of you. This house is a true, genuine, historic home. Just like it's another building on the property. Quite sure that one needs a lot of fixing up just by looking out the outside. But the thing is, hey, it's still standing. It has a metal roof. And this is like it used to be a garage one time. So you do have a couple of buildings out on this one and a half, almost one and a half acre. Nice view of the parcel. And let's get Back to the details, we reviewed all of the pictures. Nice house overall. I'll read some, I won't read them all because we're going to save some time. It's been on Redfin for 116 days. Single family residence built in 1852, sits on 1.45 acres, has AC, wash and dry hookups. It is a Victorian style home, perfect marriage of the beauty of elegance of um, a bygone era, seamlessly paired with the comfort and convenience of modern living. All right, I'm gonna stop right there. For our last browse today, we are going to 5358 Carolina Highway, Denmark, South Carolina, 29042. And the seller is asking for 299000 It has seven beds, eight baths, 2,900 square foot. We got to see this house, guys. Seven beds and eight baths. 
Wow. Pictures, please. And this is a street view of this seven beds in eight baths, 29 square foot home in Denmark, South Carolina. Just wait for that last picture to load up. My apology, that's a big, huge tree sitting there. Wow, it's almost bigger than the house. It's a two-story house. There's a view of the outside. Every walkway there, there's a view of the side of the property. There's a view of the back of the property. A view of the front of the house. Just steps going up. And the porch, wraparound porch, top and bottom. Huge porch overall. I just love these country porches. Yes, I do. Room to have your family reunion. See all my relatives. Y'all, everybody come. Everybody come. Everybody's invited. <laughs> all right, now we're going to the porch. You have a nice view of the staircase. Here's the living room. The office there in that room look like uh, wood floors. Here's your kitchen. Big island in the middle. Your countertops here on both sides. Here's your dishwasher, cabinets up above, window here. That's a big island sitting in the middle of the uh, kitchen. Okay, there's another. See the other side. Okay. A little bit smaller there in this picture. Other picture must have been a close up. Okay, there's your dishwasher double oven there. Refrigerator in the back. Haven't seen the stove yet. Fireplace in one of the bedrooms. Nice bedrooms. Yeah, a little touch up. It's a little older than the other two that we viewed earlier. So we viewed the bathroom, bedroom, bedroom. Is that a tub? Is that a hot tub? Yeah, I think it's a hot tub, guys. What type of tub? Wow. Okay, all the tables at, so this must be the dining room. See two, ta three tables, one here, one there, one there, wow. I told y'all, family union. Everybody can come. Everybody can come. Bathroom here. Back to that picture. I don't know how many pictures we have. 44 photos. This must be the second level porch. Just as big as the one on the first floor. I was definitely screen one of them in. All right, look at this bedroom. Wow. Got the uh, day bed here and two like queen size bed there. Another bathroom. Eight bathrooms. Wow. Okay, this is your back patio. It is huge. Got the um, two trees. Maybe three coming out of your patio. <laughs> That's nice. Nice view of the backyard area. Hey, got some parking area for your cars. Several cars there. Oh, that is chicken coop. Storage area to keep your lawn supplies. Okay, there's two garages. One garage with two carports. Yes, more uh, these are carports here. Three cars. And I believe that is it with all of the pictures. Let's get back to the details. Was a seven bedroom, eight bath, twenty nine hundred square foot. The seller was asking for is asking for two hundred and ninety nine thousand in Denmark, South 
Okay, all right. You know, it's been on Redfin for 123 days, single family residence. Has two garages and five total of um parking spaces. Has AC built in 1906. It's sitting over a little over a half an acre at 0.68. Step into a timeless elegance of this early 1900s. Antebellum style home. Now a charming bed and breakfast. It's, it's a bed and breakfast. Marvel at soaring ceilings, expensive windows, and original hardwood floor. Recently updated. Siding blends classic allure with modern comfort. This property is a wonderful investment opportunity. Indulge in a separate dining room, a galley style kitchen, a cozy living room, a functional office, and a beautiful fireplace. The seven bedroom, nine bathroom. Now they said nine bathrooms. <laughs> it's hopsy growing on us. Lay out in the idea for hosting, awaiting visionary owners. This residence calls for its personalized touches and new. Guests to experience its unique ambiance for style and hospitality. All right, and we are closing with this one. Today we have viewed three awesome, huge historic properties. Hey, all of them are moving ready. Um, the last one, you can do some minor touch ups here and there, but other than that, you're good to go. All right, thanks for browsing with me on this historic Sunday, this Memorial Day weekend. Thank you. And if you was joining me for my first time once again, thank you. I appreciate you. And y'all enjoy family and friends on this holiday weekend. Till next time, which will be tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Grace and peace be unto each and every one. Bye bye. Take care.